Oh, hello there, history fans. Welcome to the second edition of History 180. I'm your host, Nick. For today's topic, Edward Jenner. Born in 1749, Edward Jenner started as a little-known English physician. He grew up in rural Barclay, England, right across the Severn River from Wales. As a child, he explored everything from rocks and fossils to animals and plant life. Early in his career, he published papers on the nesting habits of cuckoos and the hibernation of hedgehogs. And he found the first known dinosaur fossil in England, and he launched England's first hot air balloon from Barclay in 1784. It flew to the village of Kingscote. When Jenner traveled to relaunch it, he met Catherine, the daughter of the Kingscote family. They would later marry on March 6, 1788. Jenner's most important contribution to medicine consumed most of his career. Early on, he observed that milkmaids were spared the ravages of smallpox. Now, you have to realize that smallpox was a deadly scourge at that time. It killed more people throughout history than the bubonic plague, and those who survived were often hideously scarred and sometimes blinded. But Jenner noticed that milkmaids, who contracted cowpox from milking the cows, were immune to smallpox. So, on May 14, 1796, he tested it. He took cowpox matter from the hand of Sarah Nelms and scratched it in the arm of eight-year-old James Phipps. Two weeks later, he tried giving a weak strain of smallpox to James. Nothing. Two weeks later, he tried again, yet James never contracted smallpox. Thus was born the process of vaccination. Jenner coined the term using the Latin word for cow, vacca. He quickly became a crusader for vaccination. He sent vaccine all over the world. He taught physicians the technique and corresponded with historical greats like Thomas Jefferson and Napoleon Bonaparte. Jenner believed so fervently in vaccination that in 1801 he wrote, it now becomes too manifest to admit of controversy that the annihilation of the smallpox must be the final result of this practice. And he was right. Uh, and, and it took the combined efforts of thousands, nearly two decades, but on May 8, 1980, the World Health Organization declared smallpox dead. Jenner's dream had come true. After Catherine's death in 1815, Jenner spent the remainder of his life in Barclay, still observing, testing, and corresponding. He died on January 24, 1823. He and Bar uh, Catherine are buried in Barclay Cathedral. His house, the Chantry, now houses the Jenner Museum. You should try visiting it. I did. It's beautiful. That's all for today, history fans. I'm Nick. Remember, to teach is to learn twice.